According to the leaders of Meta AI, every new language model that Meta releases gets a step closer to human intelligence, the real goal of Meta. Language models not only get more sophisticated with every release, but they rip out all the benefits of being open source. This is a policy that Meta AI has adopted since the early days, and it is valid for thousands of models released so far. Joelle Pinot is Vice President AI Research at Meta, and she gave an overview of the benefits of open source models during a recent edition of NVIDIA GTC. And on the eve of releasing Llama 3, the new version of the model that, by some, is considered the tool that has made the largest impact on AI in the last few years. Listen to what NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wang had to say during the World Government Summit about the Llama model. Let's face it, the single most important thing that has happened last year, if you were to ask me, the one single most important event last year and how it has activated AI researchers here in this region, it's actually Llama 2. It's an open source model. All of this technology that has to be built all were possible because of some of these open source languages. In 2023, Meta AI released the Segment Anything model, or SAM, which is even more sophisticated. Take a listen. We released earlier in 2023 our Segment Anything model. This is a model that is essentially a universal model for object segmentation. So it is universal in the sense of being able to handle a wide space of images, objects, different types of annotation. It also is designed to be highly controllable. It means that people can indicate what object they want or what section or what part of an object either through a bounding box, if you're old-fashioned, through the mouse click, through natural language, if you want to adopt some of the latest technology. This model was released openly. It included code, the trained model, an online demo, and also several datasets. It contains millions of images, but also billions of object masks from human annotators. This is a very rich source of information, which can then be downstream and used to develop new applications, as well as more specialized models. In the first month since the release, 1.7 million people tried the model for a large variety of applications. Here are some details. Now, once you have a strong model, such as Segment Anything, the possibilities are huge. On the input side, you start to have modularity of visual content. So you can start reasoning about objects, for example, figure out how many cats are in this image. On the output side, the output from SAM can actually be used as input into other model, cascaded into building, for example, images that are turned into 3D objects. And these are just a few examples of what you can do. The same model is used to develop some of Meta's applications and work processes. Backdrop, for example, is available on Instagram. Under the hood, it uses the learning from the SAM model to cut down the silent objects and to replace either the object or the background and edit the picture by simply using a text prompt. It is also being used to create custom stickers and there is a lot more to come according to the speaker. Take a listen. And of course, we also leverage the model internally at Meta in terms of our content analytics workflow. This helped reduce our labeling speed by a factor of six. This is huge in terms of our ability to analyze the content across the platform. SAM was not the first nor the last model to be released as open source, and it is part of the Llama family of models, which, as we heard, is the most impactful open source model to date. But here are some details about how the impact is measured. This also helps to better understand why open source models accelerate innovation. Um, in February 2023, when we released the first Llama model, the reaction was huge. Uh, we received unprecedented interest compared to any of our models before. We had more than 100,000 individuals, organizations apply for access in just the first few months, and tens of thousands quickly using it to innovate. Um, this was a scale of reaching out that we hadn't seen with our previous model. Um, by July 2023, we released Llama 2. In this case, we opened it up further in terms of having a license that is permissive for commercial use. The reaction was even greater. We had 160 million downloads, 
More than 19,000 derivatives to date. We're still tracking that. The impact we hear around the world from this model is absolutely phenomenal. New startups, we saw established companies, as well as a lot of government, public center institutions who are building directly on this model to address the problems that they see and that they want to solve. Llama 2 is available in three model size. 7 billion, 30 billion, and 70 billion parameters and it is supported by more than 50 industry partners. But what the user seems to appreciate are also the smaller size models. This is a topic that we also addressed in the previous video and which you can find at the link above. Um, but in fact, it's interesting to note that in many ways, the smaller model is actually of greater use to many. I know there's a lot of conversations about the deployment of extremely large models, or, or today what we call frontier models, but in practice, where a lot of the values lie in terms of democratization and in terms of collaboration is in the smaller scale model. So this is something that we will continue to be supporting over time. One of these small models is called LAMA, a specialized version of LAMA specifically for coding. It is empowering developers, it is empowering meta-owned developers, and it is empowering developers around the world. The models that we mentioned are just some of those released by Meta in 2023, and they can be found on GitHub, Hugging Face, or Meta AI website. Here, users can also find thousands of models developed by Meta and available for free. They address different domains, like language translations, imaging, chatbots, and so on. The highest impact open source project, however, is probably not a language model but a software platform for research and development in AI, PyTorch. When the, the earliest and to this day perhaps the highest impact open source project we've done is actually PyTorch, leading machine learning framework. I, I'm not going to ask in this room how many people have used PyTorch. Um, I will say that when I joined Meta in 2017, the market adoption for PyTorch was barely, barely in the double digits. Um, what started as a project in our research labs quickly grew through the contributions of contributors around the world. And today it's the leading framework. It's unlocking huge amount of progress across the industry as well as really driving developer productivity. A testament of the impact the developers can have when a product is released open source is given by the head of Meta AI, Yang LeCun who reminds us which revolutionary application was built using PyTorch. And, and you know, certainly uh, when it comes to AI, I think uh, we've open sourced on the order of a thousand different projects uh, over the last 10 years. So that, that tells you the volume of, of production. Uh, probably the most popular one is called PyTorch. It's a software platform that's almost universally used for research and development in AI. Um, we just heard from Sam Altman, uh, ChatGPT is built with PyTorch, and PyTorch was built at Meta, and is now actually the property of the Linux Foundation, so Meta transferred the ownership, because uh, it's become too big of a thing for a single company to really manage. So in summary, for Meta AI to go open source with their models is a no-brainer. Though the research and product departments at Meta work together, the development process and the innovation are accelerated with the inputs of developers from the outside. Here is how Joel Pinot explains it. This is an accelerator to our real goal, and our real goal in our AI research team is actually to achieve advanced machine intelligence, build all those technical blocks that you need to reach general intelligence. But we find over and over again that actually the progress in AI is accelerated when it comes to having more people build on our stack, more people come together to develop the science as well as the technology that we need to get there. We find that open innovation leads to economic growth. It leads to better and safer product and more responsible development. And every time we open source quality models, we're actually enabling more people to build better solutions. This is good for Meta, this is good for society, this is certainly good for the progress of research. It is important to point out that users cannot simply download Meta AI models. There are prerequisites and limitations for obtaining Meta's model, like Llama for free, including legal and privacy prerequisites, safety benchmarks, and requirements for responsible use, among others. As we look at the model release, uh, we have a number of prerequisites that we go through. 
Roughly speaking, first we, we look at all the data ensures that it goes through legal and privacy review. We use a lot of external safety benchmarks on the pre-trained model that we apply. We use a lot of human evaluation prompts to also look at a wide range of different potential threats. And then we use a mix of internal and external red teaming on the model. An example of a model that requires a deeper scrutiny comes from Audiobox. The Audiobox project, it's a project that we released uh, last November. It's a model that can generate voice and sound effects with a combination of voice inputs and natural language prompts and so on. It's actually very flexible. It's easy to create custom audio for a huge range of different use cases. With Audiobox, however, as we progressed in the research, we found that we just needed to take a more restrictive approach. We published a research paper that gives a lot of the details. We published a demo but we only shared the code and the model with a restricted set of partners, in particular academic researchers. At this point, as a community, we need to do a lot more work to minimize the potential misuse of these models, specifically voice synthesis technology. And therefore, this is the outcome that we have this, with this project. As new solutions are developed, whether we have better word marking techniques, better authentication techniques, we may take a different approach over time. But this is where we are on the journey with this particular project. And one of the main reasons why Meta AI has to be very careful in releasing the models is unique to Meta and a handful of companies. The whole world is watching. Take a listen. From a cultural point of view, in practice it means that we start every project with the intent to open source. It's not something that we decide at the end, it's something we decide at the beginning. And during, when we do that, it really ensures that we build our plan with the highest standard of quality and of responsibility. We know that quite literally the world's gonna be watching at some point, and so we might as well take that into account from the beginning of the plan.